Hi everyone, good to see you. I hope you're having a good week and adjusting to life at home. I know it's a change of routine at our house and uh, we're, we're, we're spending a lot more time at home together, which is really nice actually. And um, it's kind of funny that we've noticed that because there's suddenly a whole lot more dishes to wash because we're, we're only eating at home. And there's a puzzle out, which we never would have had out this time of year. That's usually more of a winter activity. And uh, when I've been at the church, you'll notice if you, um, around the church, there's really nobody there except for me and Barb in the office and a couple of people down in the daycare office where a lot of them are working from home. So it's a very quiet place, but lots, lots to do to keep people connected and to get worship planned and to find ways to keep in touch. So, uh, so it's a busy, busy, busy time around the church. So thanks for all of you who are finding the new ways we're connecting with each other, worshiping online. Um, this is one of the things we wanted to do is to have a story together once in a while. And so we're doing that tonight. Uh, this is um, a story. The story I'd like to share with you today is called The Day You Begin. And it's written by Jacqueline Woodson and it is published by Penguin Books. So I'm sharing that tonight with you because I thought it reminded me of all of us staying at home and what this girl did when she stayed at home all summer. So here we go with The Day You Begin. Here, this is what the cover looks like. The Day You Begin. Might be backwards for you, but you'll get the picture that way. Looks like Chelsea and Emmett are watching. Hi, Chelsea and Emmett. Here's our book. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you. I see Jess is watching too. Maybe it will be your skin, your clothes, or the curl of your hair. There will be times when no one understands the way words curl from your mouth the beautiful language of the country you left behind. My name is Rigoberto. We just moved here from Venezuela. And because they don't understand, the classroom will fill with laughter until the teacher quiets everyone down. There's Rigoberto. Rigoberto from Venezuela, your teacher says so soft and beautifully, that your name and your homeland sound like flowers blooming the first bright notes of a song. Such bright pictures. There will be times when the words don't come. Your own voice, once huge, now smaller. When the teacher asks, what did you do last summer? Tell the class your story. We went to France, Shayla says. These seashells came from a beach in Maine. A boy named Jonathan holds out a jar filled with tiny shells so fragile they look like they'll turn to dust. My whole family went to India. Someone else said Spain, South Carolina. Each souvenir a small triumph of a journey. Their travels go on and on and on. You see Ron and Joanne are watching tonight too. Hi, Ron and Joanne. As you stand in front of that room, you can only remember how the heat wave, the heat waved as it lifted off the curb and your days spent at home caring for your little sister who made you laugh out loud and hugged you hard at nap time. You can only remember the books you kept on reading long after she had fallen to sleep. And in that room where no one else is quite like you, you'll look down at your own empty hands and wonder what good is this when other students were flying and sailing and going somewhere? I like how the birds are flying. They look like they're moving in that picture. 
There will be times when the lunch your mom packed for you is too strange or too unfamiliar for others to love as you do. When even your own friend Nadja will wrinkle her nose and say, what's in there anyway? And you'll wonder how she doesn't see the rice beneath the meat and the kimchi. You'll wonder why she doesn't remember that rice is the most popular food in the whole world. There will be times when, climbing, when the climbing bars are too high. The run is too fast and far. The game isn't one you can ever really play. I don't want him on our team, someone says. You can watch. Maybe you can have a turn later. There will be times when the world feels like a place that you're standing all the way outside of. It almost feels a bit like that now, doesn't it? We're standing all the way outside of. And all that stands beside you is your own brave self, as steady as steel and ready, even though you don't yet know what you're ready for. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you until the day you begin to share your stories. My name is Angelina and I spent my whole summer with my little sister, you tell the class, your voice stronger than it was a minute ago, reading books and telling stories. And even though we were right on our block, it was like, we got to go everywhere. Your name is, like my sister's Rigoberto says, her name is Angelina too. And all at once, in the room where no one else is quite like you, the world opens itself up a little wider to make some space for you. This is the day you begin to find the places inside your laughter and your lunches, your books, your travel and your stories. I would also say your imagination where every new friend has something a little like you and something else so fabulously not quite like you at all. And that's the end of our story. So thanks for listening to this tonight. And maybe if you're thinking about this story later, you can think about maybe a few questions. Maybe you can think about your favorite part of the story. What was your favorite part? And maybe you can wonder a little bit about where you would find yourself in that story. Where would you find yourself? And I wonder, I wonder what the most important part of the story is. What would God want us to think is the most important part of the story right now for us? Some questions to think about as you remember the story. I'm going to say goodbye for now and we'll keep in touch and connect with us anytime at the church if your family needs something. And we'll look forward to our next story together. Bye for now.